reason to mount an expedition to study the extinction of the Glaucus macaw is simply to understand uh, as well as we possibly can what happened to the Glaucus macaw and thereby develop methods to ensure the same fate does not befall the other endangered macaws in the world. The Glaucus macaw is in the same genus or category of macaws as the hyacinth and the Lear's macaws. So it's a, an all deep blue macaw uh, with a little bit of bare yellow skin around the, the beak and the eye. And this bird lived only in the northern tip of Argentina and the southern part of Brazil and specialized on palm nuts just as the hyacinth and Lear's macaws do today. There are reports both from Europe and from the uh, Catholic missionaries uh, in the Glaucus macaw area that indicate the Glaucus macaws were uh, popular pets among the missionaries and Indians in uh, southern Brazil and northern Argentina and also in European uh, parrot collections. The hyacinth and Lear's macaws, which are close relatives of the Glaucus macaw, are both in danger of extinction. The Lear is critically so, and the hyacinth a little bit less so. This expedition is, I would say, a post-mortem, almost, of the Glaucus macaw situation. We're trying to understand what happened to the Glaucus macaw, and how can we make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to the other very endangered macaws. In order to study the extinction of the Glaucus macaw, the research team traveled to every known nesting location and feeding location of the bird. These are locations that were gleaned from historical records of the 17th and 18th, 19th centuries. The Glaucus macaw expedition was headed up by Dr. Alfredo Bigasso, a Peruvian PhD bird scientist uh, who specializes in uh, field surveys of rare and little known birds, especially uh, through hearing their vocalizations. He's exceedingly talented in locating birds through their vocalizations. Working closely with the team leader, Dr. Alfredo Bagasso, was Miguel Castellino, uh, one of the most talented Argentinian field ornithologists. And the two of them scoured all the historic locations ever reported for the Glaucus macaw. With the generous support of Sheikh Saud, the Glaucus Macaw Research Expedition, purchased a new four-wheel drive Mazda uh, pickup truck and used this car to scour the interior of southern Brazil and especially the northern part of Argentina in search of any evidence of uh, Glaucus Macaws still existing in the wild. The Glaucus Macaw Expedition interviewed um, old residents, including scientifically sophisticated residents, professional field biologists and professional uh, botanists and, and uh, uh, bird watchers, bird enthusiasts. The team showed the local residents uh, illustrations of large macaws and asked them for any indication that they'd seen any macaws of any description. Macaws and all other parrots are most detectable in the wild in the two to three hours after dawn and the two to three hours before dusk. And those are the exact periods in which the research team search for the birds high and low by walking quietly with tape recorders ready to tape any sounds and search to the wildest and most natural habitat possible in all the historical locations ever reported for Glaucus macaw. The Glaucus macaw was almost certainly a specialist on eating the nuts of the Butia palm, which is a small palm that grew naturally in thick groves in that part of northern Argentina and southern Brazil. Underneath the Butia palms, typically one would find uh, enormous numbers of, of very hard seeds lying there waiting to be scatter hoarded by rodents or eaten by the macaws. Now, when Glaucus macaws would open a Butia palm nut, it would almost certainly uh, make a very, very clean cut, almost as if a laser beam had cut right across the middle of the nut. Very similar to the very clean cut you see from Lear's macaws and Heisen macaws eating palm nuts in central and northern Brazil. The shells of the palm nuts lying on the ground would be 
clearly indicative of the presence of glaucus or any other of these all blue palm nut eating macaws, the highest in their leaders, and would have lasted um, perhaps 10 or 20 years or even in some cases uh, several decades without totally decomposing.